Denvax. Dendritic Cell Therapy. Mr. Stephen White came from UK and he lives near Liverpool and Manchester, in between Liverpool and Manchester. I live in a, a small town called St. Helens. And he was referred to me by one of his friends who is a surgeon in Chennai. And then we started his treatment for GBM, WHO grade 4, where he was earlier operated upon. And we started in February 2017. Cycling was, was, is my kind of uh, favoured sport. Um, I got into that from a, a good friend of mine who, who, who again sadly passed away from, from a abdominal cancer. I work for um, a great global company, Lafarge Holcim. I've been married now for 17 years. I have a wonderful wife, Catherine, and I have two young children. We always, you know, had some, some great holidays and, you know, enjoyed, enjoyed family life as much as we could. Cycling was, was, is my kind of uh, favourite sport. I was um, 43 when, before, when my life changed. Um, this was July 2016. I took my wife, it was our anniversary, and I took my wife over to uh, Belfast in Ireland for a long weekend break. and. We went on the Friday, we had a great day out on the Friday, some nice food and then on the Saturday morning, early in the morning around 7am, uh, whilst in bed, I suffered an initial seizure um, and then quickly followed from that I had a second seizure, so my wife was obviously concerned, wondering what was going on, very, very scared. Uh, and then eventually um, we, the ambulance was called and I was taken to Belfast Royal in the ambulance. During the ambulance journey I suffered a third seizure at which point my lungs collapsed. So when I got into the hospital I was um, put into an induced coma for uh, just over one day and placed in intensive care unit and they discovered the mass on my brain, on my left temporal lobe. And, but at the time, they, they weren't too concerned with the tumour diagnosis at, the, at that moment. They were more concerned about my keeping me alive in terms of the seizures and the collapsed lungs. After the initial diagnosis and, and recuperation in, in Belfast, I returned to, the, to England, to um, the Walton Centre in, in Liverpool. Um, where I had a um, resection craniotomy on the tumour, um, uh, which was about, that was on the 5th of August um, in 2016. I had a fantastic, amazing brain surgeon called Andrew Broadbelt, and he did a fantastic surgery, removed around about 95% of the tumour, and then, and then the, the fight or the battle uh, started. I then commenced the standard treatment uh, of care, which is basically all the NHS in the UK could offer, which was chemotherapy and radiotherapy following on from the surgery. And I did 30, 30 sessions of radiotherapy combined with chemotherapy over, over six weeks. So five days a week for six weeks. Um, which was pretty tough. I, I, just, I felt uh, pretty, pretty low at that point. Um, I'd, I'd put on a lot of weight. I was really, really struggling um, with tiredness and fatigue. Um, I had a hair loss um, and say a lot of weight with the steroids. Um, feeling pre pretty, pretty rubbish, to, to be honest. When a diagnosis of a cancer is made, patient and his family uh, feel as if heavens have fallen on their head. 
and they feel gloom darkness and helplessness and they feel that whatever they do they may not succeed at other point of time they will feel that they will be able to win the race they will come out of this but they are completely and totally absorbed in fighting cancer in january of this year we had a meeting again with my consultants in in the uk and they basically told me that the chemotherapy that i was currently taking um, was unlikely to have any impact on my tumor so this news was was quite you know uh, sort of tough you know it was kind of hoping that the chemotherapy and radiation w w would would be effective but the reality was the scans weren't showing any great improvement and and we, we was kind of stuck it was kind of a brick wall in terms of treatment in the uk i bumped into my um a friend of mine who, who is a, an indian doctor who had previously operated and transplanted my good friend steve prescott mbe and he would he had been kind enough to do some research for us in terms of what possible treatment options we could have outside of the standard care in, that we could get in England with the NHS and this was where um, this, my friend had started talking about dendritic cell therapy um, at which point I didn't really know a lot about. I'd, I'd seen uh, research and um, things on the, on the internet about dendritic cell therapy but I didn't really know a lot about it so we, we, we was considering then this, this option to, to have the dendritic cell therapy, albeit we knew it would have to take place in, in India rather than in the UK because of it wasn't approved. Um, treatment via the NHS was, was not an option currently. We went over to Chennai, uh, to Apollo, uh, registered there as an outpatient and had all new scans uh, full body scans, um, MRIs on the brain, met some fantastic uh, consultants there, um, to, to, to a brain surgeon there and also an oncologist um, to, who, who was looking after us and this was all with the intention now of, of the pre-work to commence the dendritic cell therapy via Denvax. Mr. White was, uh, was given a nod from his, one of his friends who wanted him to see that he is alive. So he referred him because he was his friend, not as his patient. So, but because he was in Apollo, they asked me to do dentic cell therapy in Apollo Hospital, Chennai. And we conducted the total protocol of collection of blood sample and giving him doses in Chennai only. After we'd had all the scans and pre-work and, 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 and assessments, they concluded that from that I was a, a viable candidate to receive dendritic cell therapy and had the bloods taken and then I think it was two or three weeks later and administered my first infusion down in Chennai. Then we started his treatment for GBM, WHO grade 4, where he was earlier operated upon and we started in February 2000. 17. Thereafter, with repetitive scans, we are finding that the disease has regressed substantially. Now, we are not quite clear that there is any disease left or not. I would say after infusion number two, for some reason, I instantly suddenly felt a whole world better. Uh, my my um, physical appearance transformed, I would say. My uh, physical ability, I noticed like cycling, etc. Even with all the travel, I, I, was, I just felt like a, a, a new person. Um, I, everybody I came into contact with was saying, Steve, wow, you, you, I've never seen you looking as well. You know, I, 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 I'd lost 
two, nearly three stones in weight. Um, and and I, f I genuinely felt and looked better than I have done in years. So when we do halfway treatment plan, how we will have full results? The results will only come when you have a complete treatment plan. A complete treatment plan, as I have already said, is to include immune therapy or immune system in oncology. We are doing surgery, we are doing chemotherapy, we are doing radiation. That may or may not solve the problem of cancer. It may be a short-term solution, it may be a long-term solution, but we are not very sure. To make ourselves sure that we have done a complete treatment plan, we should include immunotherapy, basically dendritic cell-based immunotherapy or T-cell-based immunotherapy to make a life completely free of disease. I had my last scan down in Chennai um, just three weeks ago, um, around, I think it was around about the 10th of October, 11th of October. and. I was surprised, amazed, uh, delighted that it showed even further regression, um, again by over, over a third again of whatever was left of, from the uh, radiation, treatment, surgery, etc. Swelling, edema, whatever was there has again shown, as I say, further regression to the point at which the, my oncologist um, at Apollo Hospitals was actually in, in two minds whether whatever's left now is either disease or in his view perhaps not even disease just uh, swelling damage from surgery etc so this couldn't be have been any better news at this point you know um, and you know I'm, I'm you know I think the I put it down to hugely down to the dendritic cell treatments I've received. But my whole ambition is this therapy should become widely available because there are so many sufferers world over. He has spent more money coming to India than what he is paying for cell therapy. It's true, it's true. I think this is my um, 14th trip to India just this year. Um, so uh, I, I feel now I am I'm, uh, Indianized as uh, my, my good friend who, who, who originally got, got me to come over to India it, 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 it laughs about that I'm used to the culture now, I think it's an amazing place. Um, I, I managed to bring my wife, um, my little boy, um, in August um, to, to Delhi to, to witness and experience Delhi as a, as a city. Amazing place and you know, I, I felt the, the strength and, and um, I would say, you know, much love from people in India and people praying for us and trying to help and just a, a wonderful community of people um, to, to be around. The, 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 the um, treatments I've, I've, I've received from, from, from Denvax has been fantastic. He's maintaining his perfect health, he's doing all his activities, he's doing much more than what we normal people do. Like he's doing a cycling, which is around 200 miles a day, which is probably even me cannot even think of that. So otherwise all his activities are perfectly fine and we are very, very happy for his health and he has taken all the pains to come from UK every time for his disease, for his treatment plan. You know, I, I feel lucky, humbled and um, extremely fortunate that we, we, our paths have crossed via, I say, a friend, and I, I, I say I truly believe that th this is the, the reason why I'm doing so well today through the expertise of, 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 of this fantastic doctor. Um, and myself and my family uh, will be forever, forever indebted.